Hello everybody, Flash Rabbit here again from the Cavecraft server. Now I'm heading over to the factory. It's a build that started, if you remember, right back at the beginning of the series. And different things have come up and I've been distracted and not got it finished. But I'm absolutely determined to get it finished today. Now I've also got another project going on as well that I've started. And that is over behind my head there, as you can see it, just with the scaffolding. Uh, and that's something that we'll have a look at later as well. And we'll try and get that done in this episode too, or at least make a start on it. Now, most of you that watch my content are not subscribed. It would do me a really big favor if you could just press that subscribe button. It's entirely free and it helps me out more than you would imagine. It really does help a lot. Plus, it tells me that you're enjoying the content and it encourages me to make more. Now, I also got together with the gang on Team Play Tuesday and we started to build the clock tower now as you might remember the clock tower needs to be restored to stabilize time in chrono city seeing as it was all destroyed by the evil chronozoids so whilst i get on with this roof i'll play a time lapse of that build i hope you enjoy it i'll see you in a minute So there we are, that's the roof finished and I said it, I'll see you in a minute didn't I? But actually it's been several days, um, it's taken me an absolute age to do this because of the copper, there's so much copper in this build and I found copper really hard to get so far. I know that they say that it should have the same frequency as iron but I've not found that. I've, uh, yeah I've, it's a real nuisance to collect it uh, jj has built a fantastic copper farm but the drowned are really mean and don't want to give it up so it takes ages to get any decent amount from that um but anyway that's all in the past because it's finished what do you think i hope you like it at the end of the day, i hope it's been worth it and um, because it has been a real nuisance to build but that's the other thing i need to do as well when i design something in creative i need to really consider what it's going to be like to build it in survival because i didn't with this build that overhang roof alone was a nightmare the amount of scaffolding that i had to use to get that done the amount of times i walked backwards off it and died uh, i'm embarrassed to tell you um in the end jj and wiles server dev strange came onto the server and helped me build it 
I'm going to take you inside and let you have a look at what she's done because it's, it's absolutely brilliant. She designed these windows with grey and black stained glass and she put a border around them of copper and granite which I think looks lovely and it fits in with the rest of the build. Uh, she designed this pattern on the floor using smithing tables, polished granite, copper and acacia logs uh, and of course I've used acacia logs for the, for the roof so that fits again perfectly. Uh, oh, I need to move that over, don't I? That's not central. Yeah, don't like that. I'll move that. Uh, if I'm honest, there are a few things that are not central on this build. This archway in itself isn't central. Um, it's over to the right a bit. I don't know how I did that, really. But anyway, um, it is. And it's going to have to stay like that because I'm not rebuilding it now. I've <laughs> I want to move on. I've got other things that I want to do. Um, so of course we've got the copper pipes on the outside, we've got all the copper on the edging of the, the overhang there, we've got some copper stairs running all the way around the, the lip of the, the roof um, and on the roof itself we've got uh, acacia logs, we've got one strip of polished granite there as well and some copper slabs right at the top. Uh, on top of the whole thing we've got a oxidised copper block with a time wand on the top of it or a lightning rod to anybody else i also said that i wanted to show you this project over here uh, and get something done with that today as well so we're going to head over here now for a little while and we're going to work on this new project you can see it there with the scaffold and that is a pumping station for the dam and what we're going to do jj is going to build uh, a massive sorter inside the clock tower that the guys and i are building which is there right in the center of chrono city this is the next build that i'm going to do this is a pumping station like i say and it's going to pump water into an aqueduct that's going to run all the way around chrono city uh, and feed into the sorting system so no matter where we're at in the city we can there'll be drop chests that we can pop our gear in and it'll all go up into the aqueduct taken around the city and into the sorting system in the middle there so i've done a little bit of work uh, while you're away there um, if i turn around you can see i've completed the first um, pump house uh, and what i've done here I've totally and blatantly nicked uh, part of jj and wiles design I've, I've made this central bit uh, a little bit different but this is well i suppose they're either cogs or it could be uh, a water wheel that sort of thing Oh, got my feet wet. Um, generates power through the force of the water coming through this pumping station. Um, now, because of the location here, I don't want to interfere with the town hall by building uh, an aqueduct right the way in front of it because we're going to have something here as well. And I think it, although busy is good, I don't want it to be too busy to distract from the builds um, because the aqueduct is going to be functional rather than pretty so it's going to be quite a plain build uh, and it's going to be same samey all the way around now over here i'm going to build another pumping station so if you can imagine the water's pumped underground until it gets to here then it comes up and it'll be pumped into an aqueduct and it's not going to be the conventional engineering that you would see in real life it's going to be a little bit make-believe it's going to be a little bit ludicrous but look at the arrows very pretty but i think steampunk is a bit like that isn't it it's a little bit ludicrous it's a little bit over engineered and, and maybe convoluted systems that achieve very little uh, and that's what i'm going to do around here so we're going to go around probably in deep slate i think uh but i might incorporate some brick i don't know make brick and deep slate like i've done with the pumping house up there so i'm going to get on i'm going to replicate that pump house here uh, and then we'll build some aqueduct
that's the pump houses done now the two pump houses there and there behind my head and here as you can see i've put in some copper pipes i just thought it added to the industrial feel uh, of the the pump of the pump house because we're getting water from underground so there'd have to be some means to do that uh, and with the pump house being so small it couldn't really be inside um, I've added buttons down the side of the deep, uh, deep slate stone brick on the left of the right of the longer sides of the pump house we've got alternating deep slate tiles deep slate tile blocks and deep slate tile walls running up either side of the water channel in the middle we've got some sea lanterns which I got with great difficulty I've got to say uh, I'm going to go back I want to go back and uh, with some visibility potions and, and get my own back <laughs> in each of the corners of the build we've got a, uh, a shiny waxed copper stair cut copper stair there as well or some lightning rods uh, creating a little bridge between the two rows of deep slate uh, and as you saw there as, as we finished the build you can see I put some lightning rods between the two would they be called finials i don't know uh let me know in the comments below if you know what they're called because i haven't got a clue but those things on the end there anyway uh, and uh i just thought it looked really nice right so let's get on and we'll build ourselves some aqueducts now am i going to use cobble deep slate i don't know should i or should i use or should i use bricks i think i'll use bricks because then it sort of ties in with the pump houses doesn't it let me sleep can all sleep at night? It's dark. Come on, I want to sleep. <laughs> While I'm waiting to sleep, let's have a look at this because I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to actually have this as a functional pump house and have the aqueduct come out from the block up there at the top um, or whether to just keep it as aesthetics. I don't know. I should be able to sleep now, shouldn't I? Yeah. Right, so I'm going to have to go back to the burrow and get some more deep slate so i'll see you back here in a minute right so what i've decided to do uh, is start the aqueduct here coming out of the pump station pumping station here um, and it's going to be a series of narrow arches that run around the city carrying the water and i think I, I, yeah i think i want it primarily out of uh, deep slate stone brick uh, for now anyway i might change my mind as i go on I've got a general idea of what I'm, what I'm kind of looking to achieve, um, but not set in stone, um, because I think it's always good to be flexible when you're building. Um, it's all well and good building from a plan, uh, but there are certain things that you can only do when you're building it. Well, for me at least, anyway. <laughs> like that. I can only do silly things like that while I'm building it. Right, let me sleep. Now I'm going to go behind the town hall here, it's going to go this way around behind the town hall uh, and then it's going to come over the top there by the factories, around the back there of the city and then coming back towards this pump, pumping station. Right, so is that high enough? Um, I kind of envisaged it higher, but if I make it higher then the pumping station or the pump what would you call what would you call it pump station pumping house <laughs> i just got in uh, in the uk pumping is a sort of a, a mild word for fart um so i can't help think of that every time i say pumping station um it must be very posh to have a station to pump in <laughs> oh good grief it's a good job i entertain myself isn't it um I don't know. Is that high enough? Do I, do, do I want it to be higher than the pump stage, pumping stations? Um, no, for now, I'm going to keep it like that, I think. For now. We can go higher elsewhere if we need to or want to. Um, so let's even up these because they're totally uneven. Is that right now? Yeah, I think that's right. Um, I need to get some stairs. Have got any brick stairs? Yes. Of course I have, totally prepared. You'd think I'd prepare, wouldn't you? I should know by now. Right, so if we go, oop, not like that. I want that there. We go like that. And put that there. And then that there. That creates like a little arch. And then 
I'm gonna come up one more all the way across actually. Have a look at it from down the down on the floor, see what it looks like. Right. Oh, actually, that doesn't look too bad. I might put another row of uh, deep slate stone bricks on the top there. Yeah, I'll do that. So that is the water channel where there's a, an input chest. Uh, I'm going to make it slightly different so it's it's obvious that that's what it is. Um, and that's where you put your, your stuff in. Right, let's have a, another look at that now. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's um, That's all right. I'll have a play with it anyway. Need another one there, and then another one there, and then one, two, three. Well, sadly, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I genuinely do appreciate it every time you come along. I make videos and I play Minecraft because I enjoy it, not because I think I know better. If you see me doing something and you've got a better way of doing it, pop it in the comments below. Share it with me and everybody else because we all need to learn from each other. Now, don't forget to spare a moment to check out my friends. All the links for the cave crafters are in the description below. And if you don't want to miss any of my content in the future, press the bell icon and I'll be sure to let you know the next time I upload a video. But for now, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay.